Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and now is time for the rest of the videos. Slowly we'll post videos. Uh, now I've shown you how to actually install the correct driver for any RTL SDR uh, compatible device. You need the software. Once you've done the correct job, you've installed the correct driver for soft 66 rtl or any rtl based sdr receiver uh, with a converter most of the time for shortwave you can get hd sdr here the download buttons at the bottom i'll be posting the link to this into the description of the video or you can also on the page of airspy.com downloads also will have the link in the description you can download sdr sharp with the download, the blue download button here. Don't search for it on Google or anything. Sometimes adds uh, a little risk of getting bad stuff. Uh, click the down the links that I've posted, and if the links change, uh, sometimes let me know. I'll be uh, updating the links of this video. So SDR Sharp and HDSDR are the two software that I'll be uh, demonstrating for now. There are others. Uh, I know some of you use different software for that, but we're going to start with this and we'll add software as time goes by. So download your favorite software. You can try both. Both will work. There's a little thing with HD SDR that you need that will prevent it from working from the start. Um, SDR Sharp works directly from the fact that you've just installed a new driver and everything is fine. But SD, uh, HD SDR will say there's missing something and that's in the next video I'm going to show you and give you the link to what to do and how to install those missing files for it to work. So HD SDR and SDR Sharp download whichever. If you want to start right away SDR Sharp is the one that's going to work right away from the fact that you install the correct drivers and um, We'll talk about the differences between HD SDR and SDR Sharp. Uh, I like both, but I have a little preference. There's something that I like more for HD SDR, but SDR Sharp is fine. And actually, as one bonus, is that there are some add lots of add-ons that you can uh, just add to SDR Sharp that aren't available for HD SDR. So. Um, but we'll check that as time goes by and we'll check the settings and everything. So uh, go and download your favorite software. You can download both if you want. They won't interfere with each other. And we'll be checking out the software and how to make it work in our next video. Um, and for those that download HD SDR, I'll be uh, posting the video of where to get the missing files and how to uh, and where to actually put the missing files in your computer for HD SDR to work. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know, let us know. Give us thumbs up if you like the videos.